Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. My name is Sean, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to graph an inequality on a number line and how to write an inequality in interval notation. Now, to understand inequalities, we have to know the four signs an inequality can be in. The first one is greater than. We also have less than. We also have greater than or equal to and less than or equal to. Now take for example the inequality x is greater than 9. To graph this on a number line, we first have to understand where should we put the circle. Now since it is x is greater than 9, we know for sure that the circle goes on top of the 9. Now, I'm going to use intervals of 1 here. Does not matter what the interval is. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, since it is greater than, we draw a circle, but we do not fill in the circle. Since the solution set for x is greater than 9 does not include 9. Now x is greater than 9 includes any value greater than 9. So 10 would work, 11 would work, 12 would work, all the way to infinity. So this would be the, the way to graph an inequality on a number line. Make sure you draw the arrow to represent the continuous going on of this inequality to infinity. Now if we have x is greater than or equal to 9. This is a little bit different because instead of just a circle, we draw a circle, but then we fill it in. So it's completely filled. And since it is greater than 9, we draw in the right direction as well. Now the only difference is x is greater than 9, in the solution set for x is greater than 9, the, the, the solution set does not include 9. But x is greater than or equal to 9, the solution set does include 9. So we fill in the circle for x is greater than or equal to 9, but we leave the circle empty for x is greater than 9. Now, x is greater than 9, we can write that in interval notation. But first, we have to understand parentheses and brackets, what they mean and what they represent. Parentheses means not including the value that it's next to. Brackets means the opposite, it includes it. So for x is greater than 9, we can say parentheses 9, since the, the solution set does not include 9 and positive infinity, since it goes on to positive infinity. Now for infinity, we always use parentheses, since it is only an idea, there's no definite value for infinity, so that's just the rule, we use parentheses for infinity. Now x is greater than 9, the only difference now is that we are including the value 9 in our solution set. So 9 would be next to brackets. We're including it. The same goes for infinity, positive infinity. Now we never include brackets for infinity. It is always parentheses. So this would be the interval notation for x is greater than or equal to 9. And this would be the interval notation for x is greater than 9. Thank you.